Howdy. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Bob Leach. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'll give you a quick recap. I uh, started out my career when I was about six years old on work boat, working on boats, and uh, which turns out that was a whole career for me. Turns out that was actually asset management. Uh, I just didn't know it at the time uh, because as you go over the horizon, you have to take care of everything. And so you, you come face to face with the realities of your actions and strategic objectives colliding sometimes in not the best ways. So that was all really good training. I ended up at the Corps of Engineers driving one of their boats, ended up at headquarters running their fleet of boats. They have about 3,000 vessels that they manage. Uh, and one thing led to another. And I ended up running their asset management program as that got off the ground. So I did that. I was involved in that for about 15 years and spent the last six years of my career at the Corps actually running that program. So I got very, very familiar with it. This was back in the days of past 55 when that was first stood up and then ISO 55000 came along. Uh, and the Corps saw, at least the civil works side of it, saw a lot of advantage in aligning with those principles uh, and, and bringing a lot of clarity to the organization and the actual decisions being made, the investments being made and how to actually adjudicate across all those things in a more reasonable fashion. Because the whole point of the Corps of Engineers, public works, civil works is to deliver benefits to the nation. And the more clarity we had to do that, the better those benefits could be delivered and the more del benefits you could deliver for essentially the same amount of money. So that equation was what we were in pursuit of. Um, and I'm happy to say that's continuing now that I've left and some might say got out of the way, <clears throat> um, but it's working. Uh, so what we have here today is uh, a panel of folks. Um, we've got Peter Dodgen from the Corps of Engineers, who I had worked with for a number of years and then ended up uh, getting the position I vacated. We have Chris Vick from the uh, Bureau of Reclamation, who runs their asset management division. And we have Keith Hannigan from the Department of State. And I'm, I'm going to try and get this right, Keith. I think you're Deputy Assistant Secretary for Operations. Is that right? That is correct. Okay. So I'm going to turn it over to these guys, let them introduce themselves to you uh, a little more. Um, I'm going to actually start off with the thought of um, how they got interested or how their agencies got interested in asset management and in particularly ISO 55000, if that's applicable, uh, and where they are now. They've all been on a journey here, I would say. They're, they're engaged in the asset management jury, neck deep, some might say, uh, largely because in my perspective, and, and feel free to correct me as you get into this, uh, I believe they recognized a need, uh, just like the core did, to connect the dots in the organization really to provide additional benefits. And, and really, it's not any simpler than that. I think the bottom line, that's what it's all about. Um, in a lot of cases, being federal agencies, they've been influenced by things like uh, public law, like GIPRA, for instance. Um, OMB has a big say in how these things progress. Congress, of course, in funding, appropriations and authorizations. Uh, and GAO too. But I would venture to say, and correct me if I'm wrong, gentlemen, that a lot of this was internally driven. In other words, Congress didn't come and say, you need to go do asset management. Um, I, I believe all the agencies sort of internally recognize this. 